This is session 11 on the NorCal 40B that we are building in a minimal test-as-you-go fashion. And this is a quick update. After um, getting it together where I can get a signal through from the antenna jack, or not through the antenna jack, pardon me, we're for the RX uh, antenna connection before the low-pass filter gets installed, before the crystal filter gets installed, and before the rest of the radio gets built. So here's a quick update of how it sounds, and also um, an update that I did remove this capacitor, C26, the 10 microfarad. It was uh, really limiting the output frequency response and made it sound really muffled. So I took that out for now. We'll see if we put it back later or not. And um, this is an example of how it sounds before we add the crystal filter. I guess that's a uh, little scientific method. This guy's not super strong, but you can see I can tune down through zero beat once he starts sending again. And right up the other side. So that shouldn't happen after we add the crystal filter. So if he'll send CQ again for us. So you can see it tunes equally well on both sides because it's so broad in the IF right now. And I don't know what we have for other signals. The band, there's another one. The band isn't dead, but it's not super active. There's a stronger one. It gives you a better indication of the bandwidth. So here's from you can see that it tunes down into the uh, five, six, seven hundred hertz range, but also way up. Listen to this. So that's the effect of no crystal filter and also no output filter cap. That's our test signal before we put in the crystal filter. So if we had to guess the frequency response, that's kind of zero down here. This is probably maybe a kilohertz. So you can see it's, it's really broad, it's probably a couple of kilohertz wide. And we do have the RIT working. Good, and we have the RF gain working. So that's our before signal, before we go ahead and add the crystal filter, which will be in uh, session 12, I guess. So that's a quick update. So if you want to pull C26 uh, out of yours to make it a little more lively sounding, you can do that also. And uh, like I said, we're fed into the RX antenna here. Um, the thing we don't have is any of this output filter. We're just fed right here at this RX signal. So it is right now running through uh, an MFJ 969. So that does provide some bandpass. So otherwise, I think it would be a lot more messy with broadcast signals and such. But the, the tuner up front is pretty, pretty peaked. So I think that helps. So there's a quick look before the crystal filter and before the uh, low pass filter. So thanks for dropping in. See ya.